All right, it's another Sunday night, and usually around this time, I would sit back and reflect on some things prior to the week starting, get myself focused, and get things in perspective because, you know, it's a new week, and you want to be better than you were last week. With that being said, I want to uh, give you my thoughts and opinions on the current retro gaming content. Now, this is not a situation where I'm going to point anybody out or anything like that because I think everybody makes great content. Nobody's doing a bad job. You know, or, or I'm saying that somebody should do something, you know, better than whatever the case may be. But what I will say is, is that um, there's a situation where there's not that much content left to really talk about. I mean, let's be honest, uh, when you start seeing people making content about emulators and, and, and these little boxes that play the content on different, you know, outside original hardware, you start to think about some things. Now, I understand. This old, you know, this old stuff, these these old boxes that are consoles from, you know, they, they don't last forever. And you want to have a situation where you preserve not only the, the games, but the consoles. And, and, and it's a good thing. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it, but I, I just feel like I don't feel very enthusiastic about, you know, adding, you know, new consoles to play uh, these games on. Now, I know they're very essential and I'm all, you know, I'm all for it. But a part of me is a, you know, not even say a part of me, but the most uh, of me is a purist. I like to play games on the original content, or I mean, sorry, on original hardware. And it just, to me, there's a joy in that. If I play a, a console that is not the original console, I kind of feel kind of weird. Like, I don't want to necessarily play a game on, you know, I mean, I, I'll just say it. I have a retro um, AVS. It's like the Nintendo that was made by FPGA, but I don't feel any, you know, joy playing that console. Don't get me wrong, the games look great on it, and I know I the reason why I got it because the original NES that console is absolutely trash at this point. I mean, if you got a working one now, after all these years, I mean, you're absolutely amazing. I mean, what is what it's what almost forty years now that that console that console has been out, and you know the upkeep on it, the toaster to put the console in and press down. And, you know, some consoles like the one I have, you don't have to press down, but it's still just a hassle to get those games work, working. So I understand why, you know, these consoles and these other, you know, uh, you know, these other ways of playing these ROMs and even with the Saturn, which I'll talk about that in a second, it, it's a good thing, but it just, to me, I don't, I wouldn't be the one, and I know there's a lot of people out here that will, you know, be disagreeing with this. I would not be the one to be playing uh, uh some games on like that new Saturn, uh, I think it's Satiator or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but you can buy it on AliExpress. It's basically like uh, a Saturn that is uh all digital or something like that. And it, it's really cool. I like it, and I mean it comes with this glass plate on the top. You can see through it. It looks really nice. But I, I just don't see myself playing, you know, my Saturn games on it. Or, like, say, for instance, some people have gutted out the Dreamcast and put an SD card in it. I think that's absolutely great for preservation, but it, it, I wouldn't want to buy nothing like that because at the end of the day, I'm not going to use it. And it's it kind of go back to the, the AVS that I'm talking about. I don't play the AVS that much. I, I feel like at the end of the day, if, if I can't get a replica or another console of that fashion, I, I probably won't, you know, won't play. Unless if you're like this big fanatic, like for me, I love the original Xbox and I have like four of them, but that's the thing. I have four of them. And if anything, I would honestly would say I will continue to play if they've made a different Xbox that actually runs original Xbox games. I probably would do that. But I mean, for the most part, um, and I know this, con this is kind of going off to the rear, but it's like a lot of these, this content is veered towards that. And I, I just feel like, it, 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 I'm not going to say I feel like it's not much to talk about. It's just like, it seems like we reached that plateau of retro gaming where now if you want, you know, any type of unique content, which is which is awesome because I think everybody does unique content, but I'm talking about like raw, authentic, unique retro content is it, more in the pickups video side of things where you buy in like the real, you know, console or you buy in the real, uh, games, you know, the, you know, those, type of, I think those are like the coolest in my opinion, you know, I, you know, and everybody who's making these other, um, videos about, you know, these devices that play the ROMs or these devices that play the, the ISO files, 
which is, you know, I think that the technology is very neat, but I, I think at the end of the day, I know it's not catered towards me. And I know I'm five minutes in and a lot of people be like, well, that's that, that content's not catered towards you. And I know it's not. I know it's not catered towards me, but like I said, it's just my thoughts. And, you know, this is why I made this video because I feel like my thoughts on this is like, I'm, I'm not, it's, it's not, it, the content is necessarily not for me. And it's kind of not as enthusiastic as it was when we were picking up uh, games and doing pickup videos. And it's one of the reasons why I still do pickup videos because I think they're still exciting. And uh, you actually going out and, and finding things that I actually need or finding that hidden gem or not sound like Metal Jesus, but finding that game that you didn't think that was that good and turned out to be absolutely great. You know, those are one of the things that I really enjoy going out and doing these things, like games that I want to play on certain platforms that are just unique to their, you know, uh, the development process and them being actually put out to the world as a game. And I think that's one of the things that I absolutely uh, will never stop enjoying. You know, once I start getting these games on a ROM or whatever, and uh, I start playing them, and I just be like, "Yeah, this is fun," but I'm not gonna play it that much. I, I it's just much more appreciation when I have, you know, the game itself. That's why I think the current retro gaming, you know, content is absolutely cool. I think the community is great. I have no quarrels with it. I I just feel at the end of the day. Um, if you're a guy like me and you've been around the block for 20, 30 years is you see all of these things that you can play these games on and it's like, yo, it's neat, but you gotta be honest. I mean, I'm a purist. I'm one of the types that will continue to just play the games in their original form. You know, I mean, I'm one of the types to be honest. <laughs> I'm one of the types that still like to listen to records on the vinyl. I like to listen to records through CDs, even though I love the fact that I have all my, I have all my, my music on my computer where i could just listen to it i don't even listen to the music that much anymore and unless if it's like you know in a different format and it's, it's kind of sad you know but you know i think at the end of the day if it's not readily available and, and like i said if we go to all digital world or whatever i may feel different you know if we go to all digital like in in music it's kind of like all digital now it's like one of the reasons why I do accept the music the way it is, but you know, I I rather you know put a CD in my car and just let the game let the music play all the way through. But I'm I'm old school like that, you know. That's something that I like to do, and and I kind of feel the same way about the gaming. And and uh, I I know that all this shelf stuff has a shelf life. Look at all the stuff behind me. These all these CDs, uh, I'm or DVDs. I'm actually surprised that you know most of this stuff still works. And I know there's gonna become a time where it's not. And um, and I think that's where the point where I check out because at that moment, I, I I just I won't have the passion to play you know these retro games. I'll probably just be playing games on my PC or playing games on the PS5 or the or the next PlayStation, next Xbox because most of that stuff will probably be digital at that point. And I mean, but I I don't think I ever have to go through that. But I just that like for instance. I don't think any of my cartridge games are ever going to go away. I think they're going to always work, in my opinion. I, you know, the cartridge NES, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, N64, I think those those going to always work. But, you know, when you start getting into the Saturn, the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, when you start getting into the CD-based stuff, then you start to think a little bit, especially with the GameCube, because the GameCube, it has this little small disc, and it's like, you know, what do you do with that? You know, um, is it okay to put all that stuff on a Wii and, and, and emulate it through there, or get all the ISO files. I mean, is it? I mean, the Wii is a, is a GameCube, right? You know, but, you know, it's just, I don't know. Maybe, you know, some people say they'll play a game anywhere and everywhere and don't care. And I get it. But for me, I don't know. I, I just feel like the way that I see things with the retro game and stuff is like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could have just named this, this I could have named this video something different because we went on a different tangent, right? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I, the, the whole case of this is like basically at the end of the day i think retro gaming content and kind of moved towards that realm and it's not very enthusiastic and i think i gave you my reasons why hopefully you know this title wasn't as it, it, it didn't come off as misleading because it, it kind of veered off into that but hopefully you understand where i'm coming from basically the retro gaming content is going to, to that route where it's not very enthusiastic for me where i like the purism or the purest side of the retro gaming content. 
Um, I, I don't want to go in circles. I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your week. I hope the, the beginning of your week started great. And uh, we'll talk again uh, really, really soon. Let's take it easy. I'm out. Peace.